Hey guys, it's Savannah here, back again with another deck review. This deck right here is the Black Asura deck from Card Experiment, so let's get right on into the review. So if you take a look at the front of the box itself, you see this figure, creature-like type thing on the front of the box. This is based off of the demigod Asura from Chinese and Hindu mythology, and this is the demigod you see pictured on the front of the box. At the top it says bicycle, and then you get the picture of the demigod, and then it says Asura at the bottom, and it has um, a nice, like, metallic-y feel to it, and it's all in silver. On the side, the design continues a little bit, but there's no words. On the other side, it's the same type of thing. The design continues, but there's still no words. On the bottom, there's some copyright information and the Card Experiment logo, and as well, the design continues. On the top, it doesn't say anything as well, but the design continues like on all of the other sides. There's a black seal on this, and on the flap, you get a glimpse of the Card Experiment logo as well. And then when we take a look at the back, you get a glimpse of the back design, which we'll get more into once we get inside the cards. So first, we're going to take a look at the two Jokers. These two Jokers are exactly the same, except there's just color variation. You see the Demigod's head, the Demigod Asura, pictured here with kind of like a flame circle around him. And on this one, it is black with metallic silver around it, and then the Card Experiment logo on both sides. And then the other one, it's a black flame ring around him. His uh, face is in the silver metallic, and then Card Experiment on both sides. They look really cool and go really well with the overall theme. Next, you have a promo card for Card Experiment, and the picture that's depicted on this card is actually what the front of the red Asura decks look like. This was the picture of the Demigod on the front of this deck. This black version, it's a little different, if you can see right there. And then you get a double backer. So now let's take a look at the back design. I really, truly like this back design. It has a lot of intricate elements and a lot of metallic work on it. With the silvers, it really pops, and the borders are really super thin, so it looks great in a fan. This back design was inspired by the Asura Domain of the Desire Realm, which is the origin of the war between the gods and the Asuras, according to the myth. And then this back design inspires that. You can see the head of the demigod here, and kind of like a spade figure here, and then a Mayan type like ring in the middle of the back design, and then you see it mirrored across to the other side. It's really intricate, looks really nice, and really goes well with the overall theme. I really do like this deck from Card Experiment. Next, we're going to check out the Ace of Spades, and as I said before, they have a blue and a red version of this deck already. There are kind of minor tweaks to the deck. Um, some things are similar, some things are a little different. Um, this Ace of Spades is consistent through all the decks. You see the Demigod right here in the middle of a spade. It's a lot of intricate artwork. It looks really nice. It goes well with the overall theme, and I do really like it. At the bottom, it says Asura, and then it says the United States Playing Card Company. In addition, you see the rest of the aces are kind of adorned, but they're still not as intricate as the Ace of Spades itself is. They kind of have that flame ring that you see around the Jokers, but you see that on all of the other three aces. Next, we're going to take a look at the royalties, the king, the queen, and the jack of spades. Um, if you guys notice that they're super metallic, they have lots of metallic inking on them. It looks great. Um, they're borderless, so they're not really enclosed by an actual border, but they do fit inside of a realm. They don't escape from that border very much, but they do look nice. They have a standard feel, but overall they are custom and they really go well with the deck and they look nice and the metallic inking definitely pops off of the cards. If you take a look at the rest of the deck, you'll notice that the pips um, and the, um, the indexes, they are custom font. You will also notice that the red cards are metallic as well and look really nice. As I said before, there is a blue and a red version of this deck that came out previous to this deck. Um, the red deck came out first and is a little different than the black deck that we're reviewing. The borders are a bit thinner and the front is a little bit different on the design of the box itself. The blue deck came out next and it's a lot more similar to the actual uh, black deck concerning the uh, design on the front and the actual metallics, but there's still a little bit of difference within the decks itself. The black deck is a Magic Finish deck on a bicycle stock. It is very nice handling, very nice feeling, and it's a, definitely an improvement in my opinion from the red deck to the blue deck to this deck. I think it looks great. The metallics are awesome. It handles really well over time. Um, there's really honestly nothing I 
essentially have to complain about this deck. The stock is great, the finish is great, it handles well over time with wear and tear. Uh, the cards look nice, the whole theme goes together, and one of my personal favorites is how thin the borders are. It just really lets the design come out. So this overall deck I would have to give a 5 out of 5. The stock of this deck is really great. It's um, a bicycle stock, as I said before, but it's kind of like that happy median. I really do like the magic finish and aristocrat stock, but this will do just the same. It really does feel nice. It holds up great over time. It works well with the finish, and overall, I really do like it. So the stock of this deck, I would have to give a 5 out of 5. The look of this deck I think is really great. I think the whole storyline that goes along with this deck was very thought out and very planned and it just really does look nice and everything goes together from the tuck box to the jokers to the back design to the court cards, the colorings, the metallics. It all just really goes well together and I really truly do like that about it and the thinner borders that are incorporated on this deck are fantastic and I really love that about it. So the look of this deck I would have to give a 5 out of 5. The handling and feel of this deck is really awesome. I like pretty much anything Card Experiment puts out. They put a lot of effort and work into it and it definitely shows off in the finished product. They handle great over time and they hold up well with wear and tear and they don't degrade super fast and I really do like that about it. So the handling feel of this deck I would have to give a 5 out of 5. So thank you guys so much for watching my Card Experiment Black Asura deck review. If you guys liked this video, if you enjoyed it, please make sure to give it a like right down there to let me know that you guys enjoyed it. Also, make sure to subscribe right down below to be notified when my next deck review, unboxing, or other video is live. That's your only way to be notified. All my social media links are down below, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that good stuff. Definitely check that out. And again, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it, and I will see you guys next time with a brand new deck review, unboxing, or other video coming your way real soon.